Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches. And uh, today I'm going to pull guidance from the Spirit Animal deck, the Work Your Light deck, the Moonology deck, and then read from my channeled love letter books that are all uh, a mantra books, which are all channeled messages between people's twins and their higher selves. So let's have a look. Spirit animals I've been really drawn to recently. So what's the spirit animal that's wanting to help us? And is this, it is the vulture spirit. 63 63 the number 63 has been everywhere recently as well we have read 63 um fairly recently that's been one of the videos so 63 is also number nine and nine is completion so completing a cycle so nothing is wasted what seems hideous has its own beauty and the recycling and repurposing the vulture does is as, as important as any other activity in nature that supports the cycle of life vulture spirit's message is that nothing is to be wasted for nature nature sees value in everything that exists what seems rotten and ugly has the potential to be transmuted into something beneficial and you are reminded that any suffering you've experienced has not gone to waste. Wisdom and understanding that arose from the experience are talismans that will serve you on your journey wherever you go. What is decaying is only changing form and will fertilize seeds you wish to plant, turning that which has passed away into the substance that will support new growth. All that you might wish to deny or discard has value and can be repurposed and reintegrated into the new, into the new you that you are becoming and the new life that you are dreaming into being. No pain is in vain and no experience is wasted, for you have the power to use it to co-create something far better. This is the miracle in your partnership with spirit. Wow. So brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> so brilliant because it has been a particularly difficult time at the moment over the last, you know, well, it's been difficult for a while, hasn't it? And so that is so perfect just to, for us to remember again that everything happens for a reason, no matter how challenging that can be, it's happening for our soul growth. So the next one from Work Your Light is the Council of Light, Divine Orchestration. Uh, believe that this is all happening for a reason because the Council of Light are here to support us on our path there we are not doing it on our own we are basically being supported and there is support all around so even though it doesn't feel like that at times uh, it's really important to remember that it is happening for us to grow <laughs> I know that seems so difficult sometimes uh, and it's really easy to forget that so the message is this the council of light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist you uh, of, uh, the, to assist the raising of consciousness of the planet they are here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. If you would like your assistance, it is time to ask them. They can help with all kinds of requests. Nothing is too big or too small. Think of them as your personal team of helpers in the spirit realm. They are willing and ready to step in and get to work. What would you like help with? What tasks would you like to delegate to them? The Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, light beings, angels and guides devoted to the rising of Earth and all of humanity. If you are a light worker, it is from them that you receive your personal mission. Like a spirit world united nations, they want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. Put in your requests and let them get to work. And the activation of the card is this. Council of Light, I am ready to receive your help for fulfilling my personal dharmic mission. Thank you for guiding me with clarity every step of the way and for sending me helpers and experiences that delight my mind, body and soul. So the Council of Light here to help us remember to ask for help. You're not doing it on your own, even though sometimes it really feels like that. 
uh, we are all in it together. And the message is this, it's a time for healing. And don't we feel that at the moment? There is a big time for healing, right? So much uh, unrest going on in the world, so much upheaval, uh, so much polarization, so much, you know, there is, you know, the, the world needs healing. We all need healing. So the time for healing is this. Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had if you know that someone or something really isn't good for you. This card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you are ready when the time comes. And both is, all of this is about um, letting the, the past go, being able to heal, your, being able to heal and being able to look forward and to dream and to dream big um, and to learn from the situations that we're in, to learn, you know, to learn from our past, look at how the world, you know, are we going to repeat the same patterns again? Are we going to use this moment in time to change the way that we see the world, to change the way that we leave our footprint on the world? And we can only do that if we reach out for help from the higher realms. So a beautiful message. Now that was on page 39. So I will share mantra number nine from the love mantra book to help us lift and shift that vibe. So I sprinkle magical love stardust wherever I go for my beloved to follow. I sprinkle magical love stardust wherever I go for my beloved to follow. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And as we sprinkle those magical intentions and as we sprinkle that magical intent to be on our highest path, to live the life of uh, our highest self, believing in me is the best magic I know. So this is from my mantra book. Believing in me is the best magic I know. And that is so important. We have to believe in ourselves. We have to believe in each other. We have to believe in this amazing community of souls that are coming together to help uplift this beautiful planet we have to believe in our twin journey uh, we have to believe in the pull of our souls we have to believe that we're being pulling back together look at that it opened at 39 as well so that i love you love everything about you love that you make me understand and wake up to what love really is not the fairy tale love, but the true, real, timeless love that has lasted eons and binds us together forever. The love that I never anticipated finding or never knew existed. It's such a beautiful thing to find the essence of who I am, to find you. You are the one to set me free, to bring me all the way back to the purity and essence of our being, to bring me back to our oneness and the oneness of everything. I want you to know that I'm in awe of you. I want you to know that I cannot wait to touch you again, feel you, stroke your hair and put my hands on your face. Your face is like the face of an angel and is etched in my eyes and in my heart forever, longing for the day to come back together where we can be together again. Wow. So there does feel like this real, you know, this, this um, time for healing. It really does feel like the energy around that today is really strong. It's this time for letting go of the past, a time for healing, a time for reaching out to help for help from the higher realms, a time to surrender these connections, a time to surrender all of the crazy stuff that's going on in the world. So, uh, and to remember that we need help in order to do it. So you are so beautiful. You are like a wildflower in a meadow blowing in the wind, petals blossoming and revealing its true beauty. I see your true beauty within. I see the light in your soul, the light of love reflecting back to me. 
I see in your eyes the lifetimes and source of the universe, the source that we are all seeking. You are the answer to all of the big questions. You are love. When I see and think of you, I know what the power of love can do. I know that what I feel for you has shaken my world, has shattered my illusions and allowed me to believe in dreams really do come true. Wow. So believing that dreams really do come true, letting go of the past, realizing that we're on this healing journey, all of us together, constantly letting go of energies, constantly allowing more light to pass through into us. So I'm going to read uh, letter 40 from book three, which is, you are my beloved angel of light, the vibration of love that emanates off you. I can feel in every part of my heart, body and soul. It's beautiful, like tingling stardust, no way, running through my body, stardust sprinkled into my brain, shining sparkling light onto an otherwise very dull existence. I realize, realize I have been dulling my flames for years. I haven't been living my life. I've been hiding from life for fear of actually being me. You show me that it's okay to be me because you love me and that's everything to me. You are all that matters to me. Oh my God, that is so crazy because how much in sync with the, <laughs> the mantra, the love mantra, which was, I sprinkle magical love stardust wherever I go for my beloved to follow. And there it is, right in the letter. It's beautiful, like tingling stardust running through my body, stardust sprinkled into my brain, shining sparkling light light onto an otherwise very dull existence and there is the magic right there it's like the twin soul answers straight back i mean that is just crazy but beautiful again so connected in so many miraculous ways the synchronicities are just so beyond my brain to even try to comprehend how that stuff happens but it really is amazing. So I'm going to read it one more time because that is just like delighting my, oh, I can't believe it. So you're my beloved angel of light, the vibration of love that emanates off you. I can feel in every part of my heart, body and soul. It's beautiful, like tingling stardust running through my body, stardust sprinkled into my brain, shining sparkling light onto an otherwise very dull existence. I realize I've been dulling my flames for years. I haven't been living my life. I've been hiding from life for fear of actually being me. You show me that it's okay to be me because you love me and that's everything to me. You are all that matters to me. Oh my God, I love it. So the, this magical mantra, there we go. I sprinkle magical love stardust wherever I go for my beloved to follow. So just to remember that we are always, always, always on a journey back to each other as long as we put that intent in to live our highest and best path, to live our golden path, to live our soul truth, to live our mission, to live our purpose for being in this physical body, on this physical vibrational planet at this time. So trust, 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 trust is the big thing. So I really hope that helps. If you would like a healing, a reading, a channeling, or to get any of my services, please do. All details are in the description box against this video. But in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright, and stay switched on to the light. See ya.